Hey, welcome back. I got a two for review today. I got two private release whiskeys from a store down in DC, Potomac Wine and Spirits. You cannot get these unless you go there. So I figured I'd just blend them together into one video. So right here, we got Whistle Pig 11. I haven't had Whistle Pig yet, so I'm curious how that's gonna taste. And over here, we got a private release barrel bourbon. And we know how much I like barrel from my last video. I'll put that one up there if you're curious. All right, so the Whistle Pig. It's an 11 year single barrel rye. I have not had Whistle Pig yet, as I said before. Comes in at 59.2% alcohol, so we know the wife will not like this, but we're gonna make her squirm anyway with it. It's been a while since I've had a full rye, and I'm really excited for this bottle. Look at that color, a really nice golden amber. This should be really good, I'm very excited for this. Okay, so the Barrel Bourbon. It is a blend of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana whiskeys coming in at 58.42% ABV. Very specific there. If you're curious, the blend number is B43K. Again, only able to be purchased at Potomac Wine and Spirits in DC. Now, this blend is comprised of 50% five-year whiskeys, 20% 10-year whiskeys, 25% 14-year whiskeys, and 5% 16 year whiskeys so you can only age your blends based on the youngest whiskey so it is a still five year blend however i'm very curious about that that five percent of the 16 years in this blend i love barrel i think they do great things so i'm not going to be surprised i find out i love this bottle i did get these bottles down that whiskey exchange i had in february so i did not buy these so if i love these i'll be upset because i might have to go down to dc and spend more money but Without further ado, let's get to these noses and these palettes. We're not going to do a full review. I'm going to give them a couple of scores and just compare them, and then we're going to see what the wife says about them, which probably won't be good, but it could be funny, so let's get to it. All right, Whistle Pig. And the label here says 10 years, but they don't change the labels based on the private releases, so Potomac Wine and Spirits did indicate it was an 11-year single barrel rye. Now, rye's going to be pretty spicy. Yeah, that's... That stings the nose a little bit with really strong like cinnamon nutmeg like corn punches right into the nose right there. It's a bit ethanol-y. It is 59.2% alcohol. That doesn't surprise me at all. But once you get underneath that ethanol, there's some nice little bit of a, like a maple vanilla like oak balance that, that ties in there. And then those like cinnamon spicy pops really pop in there. Ooh, a little bit of like, that smells like a farm of corn. Like, just like imagine a field, a bunch of corn sprouting up. Yeah, the more I nose this, the more fragrant and lighter it gets. Because your nose gets used to all that spicy pops, and it's actually getting a little more earthy. So we're going to swap over to the barrel now. Barrel. Whoa, the dichotomy here. Way more mellow. Definitely not punch me in the nose. And this is still 58% alcohol. It's only 1% less than this. Actually 0.8% less than this. Much sweeter. I'd say it's it's like a smoother nose, if that makes any sense. I'm getting definitely some more deep fruit vanilla notes here. Kind of like my other one did that I had reviewed. Oh, I'm actually getting some like grape juice, some pomegranates, really red dark fruits here. This is blended to be like a more fruit basket than my last barrel I did. And I thought that was crazy because that was a ruby port. This is just a blend of bourbons. This is awesome. And you have to get that like matured oak balance there as well. But essentially, this is just a glass of like grape juice mixed in with some like oranges, vanilla, a slight bit of honey with some like oak balance in there. This is really good. Spicy. Punch you in the nose, and right here, very smooth, very deep fruit notes with a nice, like, underlying oak base that really blends it all together nicely. If I'm going to compare these, like a versus video, which this isn't, but I'm going to pick this with my nose if I'm going to. This smells great to me. It's very inviting. So we're going to see how the palettes match up. All right, first sip of Whistle Pig ever in my life. Oh my. All right. This is actually hot and peppery, which I'm not surprised with. It is a rye. But initially, I'm getting a lot of like corny cereal, like cornflakes. 
this is gonna sound bad, but like dirt, like soily earth tones on that. And it's a pretty thin bodied whiskey. It's not super thick. I'd say maybe medium bodied, maybe not thin. I'd say medium. It's uh, it's not a robust full one. Um, so it, now that I swallowed it and it's been like 20 seconds, it's really nice. It's very corny on the palate, um, more so than I was expecting because of the rye. And man, those cinnamon pops definitely hit you on the initial sip and they just mellow out into just like corn on the back of your tongue. Um, I'm gonna do another sip here. Oh yeah. Man, cast strength rise, man. They definitely punch hard. This is one of those ones you definitely don't want to drink fast because it's going to hit you. But also, it's so hot on the palate that it takes a long time to mellow out. The finish on this bad boy is going to be awesome because it's just, it takes so long to get down the back of your tongue. And it kind of like, it's like the slow moving glacier, like, you know, that's something Titanic going down your throat. It's really going to be long and warm. And that's really vanilla y, oaky that I can just get really easily off the tongue. And it's been a 30, 40 seconds since that sip, but it's super hot. It's going right into the chest. This is one of those ones you want to curl up by a fire in like the winter and drink this. Whistle Pig, good first impression because I haven't had a Whistle Pig in my life until literally right now on camera. So this is getting pretty good. I'm not going to be cleansing my palate. I know, I don't know where my water is, don't care. I'm just gonna drink right into the barrel. Let's go. Oh, wow. Immediately, this has given me, so this, I would say, I think this one's a little more full-bodied than this one is, than the Whistle Pig. And immediately, those fruits just, like, washed away any rye spice I had in my mouth. The nutmeg, the cinnamon, all those things. This is just so well-balanced. It washed away that entire rye. This is what I could just cleanse with. I could just cleanse with this. This is so fruity and nice. And when, when I say fruity, it's just grapes, raspberries, strawberries, apples, just everything in here. And then you have that like, I don't, I don't I want to say the word dark, but just like a like dark oak base, if you know what I mean. And it's just, you have the wood, the, the you know, the oak barrel, put all the fruit on top of that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting here. That, that, that oak foundation with all those aged uh, whiskeys in here and popping it on the fruits and a smidge of that like vanilla through the middle as well. It's just, superbly balanced and I'm gonna say right when I was about to sip that I got a hint of grapefruit so like a little bit of like citrus as well I'm gonna say if I'm gonna pick a whiskey uh, for my palate this one's gonna win as well I'm gonna do a quick finish talk you know 59% 58% both very strong both very long so like I'm gonna say there's a tie on the finish like seriously this one's just gonna be really poppy corny earthy this is gonna be vanilla e oaky fruity, and they last a long, long time. One of those, both these whiskeys are perfect for like a session dram, as the Scotch Father says. Just pour it out, let it get oxygen for like an hour or whatever, get some water in there. Water is great for rise. It kind of lowers the ABV a little bit and makes the palate a little more sweet because of the water. So that's what I would suggest you do if you do have like a full ride that's 59%. But otherwise, Great finishes. We're going to see what the wife says. All right. We get to torture you twice in one video. Are you excited yeah. for that? Sure. Okay. Well, so I think the best way to do it is to give you the poppy 59% rye first. Now, that's, this one's actually going to be peppery. This is a Whistle Pig 11-year single barrel rye. And we were near there when we were in Stone. Let's give it a sip. Okay. You know what? That wasn't a terrible reaction. No, it wasn't. Wow, okay. Just really quickly. Was that better than last week? Yes. Why? Do you know why? It doesn't burn as much. That's crazy. Like I my mean, my eyes don't feel like they're burning. They're the same percent alcohol, which is crazy. No, uh, this one I could tolerate more. It's interesting, because this is a rye. These are very spicy, like cinnamon, nutmeggy peppery punch in the face there's, okay there's, there's a punch there yeah there definitely is but you reacted so poorly to the edra dower that because yeah. <laughs> it was horrible wow okay well so this is a barrel and we have a barrel right back there so it's not, not the same one obviously but okay. this is 58 percent alcohol for me 
This is very dark fruity, like grapes, strawberries, raspberries. You get that oak base and like a vanilla cut through. So this should help wash away that rye. Okay. Hopefully you like this one more than that one. And if so, not a horrible reaction today. I'm very surprised. So let's give it a sip. Learn to smell it. Let's give it a sip. Who cares? Hey, that's like a two for two. Smack. Just like that one more than the other one? I did. I don't feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm dying. What a quote. Good God. Did you get any fruit out of that? No. Did it kind of wash away the rye though, make it a little more pleasant? No. Can you explain why anything is better than that? It burned less. Burned less. Well, it is 0.8% alcohol less, so I guess that might be why. Okay, well, this was Tasting with Miss Glencairn Gamer, and she didn't hate these today. No, I didn't. That's awesome. So, if you guys like my videos every Whiskey Wednesday, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys like it, and you can see more of these reactions from her, and I will see you guys next week.